Let's uh, let's talk about UMass. Let's do this. Walt Bell, 0-4 last year, 1-11 his first year. Uh, minimal, proven talent right. with the Minutemen. Uh, last year was dire. The offense only averaged 188 yards per game. The defense allowed the opponents to run at will. Uh, Bell is um, not good this year. Like Winning two games would be a significant improvement, uh, and I do believe that they will get there. Okay. Yes, uh, one and a half is the win total. To go over is minus 155. To go under is Did plus Did we go over on all three of these teams? Uh, nope. I went under on New Mexico State. I went over on UConn, UConn. Okay. and I'm going over on UMass. Yeah, you got uh, Rhode Island in here. You got New Mexico State here. And and you've got Maine. And you got, oh yeah, I forgot. Yeah, Rhode Island and Maine. Maine. Um, UMass, like, don't get me wrong. I don't expect them to be world beaters or even contend with a lot of these other teams that are on here. Um, but I do think that, you know, like they could win some of those games and you just need them to win two. Yes. Yes. That's it. They, I don't even have to have them beat UConn. No. Like I, give me, give me Rhode Island and Maine and, and even New Mexico, New Mexico State. State. Like it, there. I, there's options here. I think that they can get over one and a half. I think that's why the juice is at minus one fifty five. So, I mean, that's that's what I'm doing. SP Plus has got them projected three and nine. Uh, FBI has them at two and ten. Uh, do I do I think that Walt Bell is a good coach? No, no. Um, but they are number ten in the country in offensive returning production, and regardless of the defense, I, th- I think they'll be able to score. So let me let me ask you a, a just a completely different question. Who who has a bigger separation point differential? Clemson against Utah or Liberty against UMass? I'll go with Liberty. I'd go with Liberty, too. I think I think, I think Liberty will not hold Because back. they have a coach that gives no Fs at all. Yeah. And he is going to just put the gas down, and he's going to go yeah. until he runs out of gas. Yeah, I think you're right. Or he blows the right. engine up. He don't care. You're yeah. 100% right. I, did, I was thinking they both could win by 70 if they want. Yes. If they want. One guy probably will. The other guy, he'll yeah, probably just run the clock out. Yeah. I, I, I don't do say that. many nice things about Dabo, but he, he'd probably do that. It's, it's sportsmanship, man. Dabo's, Dabo's a little more known for that than uh, than old Hugh, I think. Yeah. I mean, who knows? No, he's not. All right, so you taking the over? Yeah, I think so too, man. It's <laughs> weird. I'm going to tell you this. Maine might beat him. Maine might beat him. Well, they could. Rhode but, Island's pretty good too. But I only but I only need him to get two to push. No, no, you, you need them to get two to win the bet. Oh, it's one and a half. It's I thought it half. was two. Yeah. Oh, well, then, yeah. No, I just need two. They'll get two. They'll get two. I think they can get two. I think New Mexico State's that bad. I think so, too. Yeah. I think There's so a world too. where they don't win any of them. Ah, what a... Let's get out of here. What a magical, magical night covering the FBS independence. You better believe it. All right. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.